Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's coming up for you this weekend, guys. General as always, so please do take from this reading what makes sense for you and release the rest. So starting with my Heart and Soul Love Oracle deck, let's take a look and see what it's going to be looking like in the next couple of days. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aquarius. All right, here we go what's coming up for the weekend we do have this broken energy coming through let's grab a couple more messages and see what that's about we have somebody who's healing here inner strength okay and bottom of the deck we have weight so let's read these so this very first message i ran away from you because i was afraid I've given my heart before and my heart was broken. I don't know how not to run. All I do is run from love. I've gotten so used to the pain, I'm almost numb to it. Maybe, just maybe, I'll give it one more try. If this represents you, Aquarius, you're willing to give someone another try, or at least just the concept of love, giving it another try, even though there's a part of you that's broken based off of prior relationships where you might have gotten real hurt somebody broke your heart went through something very challenging but this is you willing to at least be open to the idea of giving love another chance and then we've got inner strength coming through here i gave my all everything i had inside me but it wasn't enough was it ever enough am i good enough why am i standing here heartbroken exactly i don't deserve this I'll be all right. I'm strong. This pain is trying to shatter me. I won't let it. I will overcome. And yes, you will, you know, but you're also being directed to wait, as you can see. So this does say sometimes having patience is excruciating. We just want to take action, try to fix what's broken. Do you see how this is all coming through here? What's not working in our relationships? Allow divine timing to do its thing. Don't make any hasty decisions. Take a deep breath. Just relax and wait. Just wait. What's meant for you will come back to you. And I feel that's a huge part of the message coming in for Aquarius this weekend. Don't do anything hasty. What's meant for you will come to you when the time is right. Okay, so let's clarify these though. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please, for this weekend for Aquarius. Lots of references to broken, feeling broken, heartbroken, trying to fix what's broken. That's really interesting. But as you can see, there might not be a whole lot that's going to be happening this weekend because you're being directed to just have patience because there might be something that's going on beneath the surface that you don't even no, you're not even aware of what the other person might be up to or perhaps healing whatever part of themselves needs to be healing so that they can come towards you as a better person especially if they're the ones that ended up hurting you i'm also getting for some of my aquarians here that perhaps you are the runner and someone else is the chaser or of course that could be reversed so we do have the queen of wands coming through here so my divine feminines, if you resonate with the fact that you tend to run away from partnerships because in the past you've been hurt by people, this is you coming through with this very confident energy of the queen of wands, okay? You're very attractive. You're not going to have any issues being able to attract new love. Certainly, you're very sexy, Okay, you're so you're a social butterfly. So you're not a hermit by any means. You're not sitting at home just waiting for things to happen. You know, you could certainly be someone who's very independent and going about your life. But at the same time, there might be something about you that's a little bit apprehensive because other people have hurt you. We also have the four of cups coming through here. So this is what I'm getting because this can sometimes be a missed opportunity for people to be together. And part of the reason why that is, I feel it's lopsided. It could have been out of balance where you are the one giving, 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 and the other person wasn't giving enough to you. 
they could certainly have their own regrets over perhaps not giving their all because clearly it's indicated here that you did everything possible for this person, for the connection. And so it could have been you as well, Aquarius, who disconnected and who ran away from this person because they weren't perhaps offering you what it was that you certainly deserve and what it was that you were looking for. And then you've got the two of wands right here. So yes, it's a good idea to be planning for the future, having some sort of thought in your head or in your heart that where it is that you plan on being in the future, certainly when it comes to this love connection. But maybe this weekend is just not the time for things to be moving forward. There's a lot of downtime here that I'm feeling for some of you. Eventually progress will be made, but you know, also maybe you're just feeling really restless and withdrawn as a result of whatever it was that you've been through. But this is a situation that cannot be fixed right away. It's going to take time. And that I feel is why you're being directed to wait. So just have some patience here. I feel if you could maybe just take a step back and allow things to unfold naturally, it might just correct itself. It might just ultimately fix itself here. All right, so let's go ahead and add to this. I'm going to pull from my dating scene oracle for Aquarius. Angels and spirit guides, please. So what else do we need to know? Tasty treat. Somebody could have a sweet tooth. It does say, come and eat my cookie. Someone could have, what, what was I going to say? Someone could be a baker. Okay, that could be what someone does here. We have instant connection, soulful bond, okay? So there's definitely this very strong connection that they feel to you, towards you. I'm also getting that the sexual chemistry between the two, two of you is very strong. Let's grab one more. Eternal twin flames, wow. No wonder, right? Soulful bond, eternal twin flames. You feel a very strong, intense connection with this person. Look at the bottom of the deck. We've got committed, won't ever let you go. These are some pretty amazing cards coming through here. But, you know, again, you are being directed to just hang tight and wait. So if you're not with your twin right now, Try not to be in panic mode and just change up your energy and whatever it is that you're throwing out into the universe. If you're panicking, then, you know, that's the vibe that you're putting out there. So just try to perhaps stay calm and know that what's meant for you, as I've mentioned, will come to you in divine timing. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages. I'm going to pull from my illuminated star tarot deck. This person is your twin. Maybe you've always known that or you have suspected it. Well, this might just be clarifying this for you. Somebody could also really love cookies. Maybe they weren't ready to commit to you before, which is why they ended up hurting you. We've got the lover's card here. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini specifically. So clearly... There's a deep love. There's this very passionate magnetic pull that they feel towards you. They want you to be their life partner. Here's a choice and a decision that somebody needs to make here. And maybe that will happen this weekend for some of you. But I feel more so that it's a waiting game at this point in time. They're willing to put in the work for sure to be able to bring you guys back together, especially if there's distance and separation here. Look at this. We've got the star. Okay, so there's hope for you guys to rejuvenate this partnership. There is a wish that can manifest between the two of you. And then we've got the empress. So divine feminine, your masculine is ready to commit to this partnership. And if part of the reason why you guys are struggling through this journey and why you might ultimately not be with this person, I feel there's been a shift in how they think, how they feel, and they're ready to commit to you. Okay, so Empress representing motherhood also. You guys could have already had a family, children. Okay, so let's see how this is going to play out this weekend. But it does seem to me that 
there might be a shift in how they're feeling and what they're willing to do to create movement in this partnership. Your wish, I feel, will come true. It might not happen this weekend, but maybe the ball will get rolling towards that direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some dialogue messages. I'm going to pull from my voices deck, focusing on the divine masculine here. What does the masculine want to say at this point in time? I couldn't give you the love you deserved before, but I can now. Is your heart still mine? Do you see that message? You see, they're ready to commit. They're ready to open up their heart fully to you, Divine Feminine. All right, so let's grab a message on behalf of the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to pull from Voices, my Volume 2 deck, for the Feminine. All right, Feminines, where are you at? Let's have little versions of us, also known as babies. So remember, guys, the Empress represents femininity, motherhood, pregnancy. Okay, so this could have either been something you guys talked about or certainly the desire to have a family together. But maybe this is also, for some of you, directing you to wait, especially if, for example, money has been a little bit strained. Okay, so eventually you can build that family, but it might just take a little bit longer. That's a possibility of what could be coming in. All right, guys, so let's wrap it up with some final advice from your guardian angels heading into the weekend for Aquarius. Guardian angel advice. We have creativity and then bottom of the deck is positive change. All right, let's read this. We, your angelic messengers, are here to help unleash the endless creative potential that you possess. Listen to the whispers of love inside your heart as we communicate with you through feeling and emotion. Let go of fear and apprehension and express the endless source of creativity you possess. Have fun and allow the inner child within you to express your true essence. All is valid. If you also tend to be a very creative individual, maybe there's something that you're working on for this weekend you know, but it is reminding you to enjoy life, to have fun. And then we've got positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated and or understood in their own lifetime, yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. What I'm getting here for some of you, and this involves perhaps your livelihood, your vocation, your job, especially again, if you tend to be very creative. Okay, so this is telling you and reminding you just be yourself. Don't be afraid to be different, as it says, you know, you don't want to be exactly like everyone else, sort of like that whole cookie cutter mentality. And it's interesting how we've got the reference to cookies in this reading. All right, so some of you guys really, I don't know, I'm getting maybe some of you might want to start a baking business, something along the lines of selling cookies, something like that, but maybe adding a creative spin on how you're going to do that. All right, guys, so that's what I've got for you for the next couple of days. And if you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below. Thank you so very much, and I hope you enjoy your weekend. See you soon.